A judge in the so-called American Sniper trial made a major ruling today as the defense requested a mistrial. Well, Scott Thuman is at the live desk now with the newest developments in this. Scott? Allison, Leon, the judge is denying that request. So the trial of the former Marine, Eddie Ralph, will go on. It was because prosecutors said that glass vials suggesting drug use were found in Ralph's home. It turned out they'd actually been left there by crime lab workers. Now, the judge refused to call a mistrial and instead told jurors to ignore that earlier information. Meanwhile, the jury is likely still trying to digest all of this, seeing Ralph's taped confession to police immediately after his arrest, saying he killed Chris Kyle, the subject of the movie American Sniper, and friend Chad Littlefield, both veterans who took him to the shooting range that day in hopes of helping him cope with post-military problems. The defense says that he was at least insane at the time and uses lines like this from his confession. I knew if he didn't take out his soul, he was coming to take mine. I'm just tired of playing chess with my life. He was in the grip of a psychosis. A psychosis so severe at that point in time that he did not know what he was doing was wrong. Now, prosecutors, though, point to that very same videotape confession when Ralph said regarding the victim's families now, quote, I'd tell them I'm so sorry for what I've done. If I could have done it differently, I'd done it a whole lot differently. They say that indicates he was aware of his actions and therefore sane at the time and should be convicted. Now, prosecutors could finish their side of the case today, handing it over to defense. The jury has three options here uh, when it does finally wrap up this case. Guilty not guilty or guilty by insanity. At worst, it would be life in prison for him uh, with no parole since prosecutors are not seeking the death penalty. Uh, clearly another dramatic day in this trial. Leon? I'm waiting for the next step. Thank you, Scott.